what's going on guys good morning today is friday tgif and oh uh, my god i cannot believe this i am here at burger king about to try the impossible burger impossible patty impossible burger impossible patty <laughs> double meat we're doing uh basically it tastes like exactly like a whopper but it is a veggie uh, now recently they had uh, just made some uh, commotions about it being a veggie burger though they are cooking it on the uh, meat uh, uh, meat uh, what do you call that stove top um, the flat tops and it's just uh, causing a big commotion there is already a, a court case uh, someone was doing a lawsuit on them already stuff like that blah 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 anyways the impossible burger it is one of the best burgers I've had ever. Like literally when I took my first bite into that burger, oh um, man, it just literally like dissolved in my mouth with all flavors included. And I am so excited to try a double meat one today. Uh, I'm also having a coffee and then uh, just waiting on my burger. I think I'm probably the first one going for it today. So they said it's gonna take some time. So that means it's gonna be extra fresh for this video. That pretty guy is excited. Make sure y'all show that love on YouTube. Make sure you show me some likes and make sure you give me some comments and tell me about the Impossible Burger. Tell me your opinions. Tell me uh, your thoughts on all the uh, lawsuit and stuff about the lawsuit and all that other uh, randy dandy. But uh, yeah, let's uh, wait for that burger to get here. By the way, um, go ahead and show some uh, comments and uh, tell me what your favorite coffee and what coffee you like the most out of all the fast food restaurants. Um, so far, I've had the McDonald's ones. Those are always good because they're like A plus on their breakfast period. Uh, but uh, my order is ready. I'm about to go grab it. All right. Si, por favor. Gracias. I'm so excited. It weighs about a pound because it is like a Whopper. It literally says it here. On, it says one impossible Whopper, added a patty, medium fries, medium Coke. And don't forget about those uh, coupons on the tickets, man. I'll tell you what, it saves you big time. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee first. 100% Arabica beans. Interesting. I simply did two sugars, two creams. <coughs> Excuse me. Speaking of Friday. <coughs> Speaking of Friday, today is my cousin, little cousin's birthday or uh, wedding. Um, Emily Jane Ochoa. Um, I send you much love. Shout out to you. Shout out to your father. Rest in peace, great Theo Raymond. And uh, know that he is watching you celebrate your beautiful wedding that you're going to be uh, celebrating. My mom is going to be there, so I'm going to send lots of pictures, making sure she sends me lots of pictures. Much love to you, cuz. All right, let's try this. The good old stick your hand in the uh, bag for fry. Mm. The fries at Burger King are awesome. If you look at the wrap, that is so cool. The Impossible Whopper. That is wicked. Flame grilled to perfection, indeed. Um, talking about the fries as well, let me know what your favorite fries are, where they're from, what fast food restaurant. By the way, In-N-Out does open today. We are at Katie Mills, carrying Katie, Texas, uh, right across from I-10. They're gonna be opening up. Some guy told me last night at work that there is already a line outside the uh, restaurant wrapped around the building and they don't open until today so that's gonna be crazy mm. the impossible burger I've said it like a million times look at the patty looks just like a freaking whopper patty but I'll tell you what it is so scrumptious 
I wish I put cheese, but that's okay. I've been having too much cheese this week. Um, but that's just the way it is right there. That is such an awesome patty. I don't know what to say about it really, but but that the flavor is just like a Whopper. It's extremely good. And I love the sesame seed on the bread. Makes it a little healthier. I'm ready to have another bite right away. I can just taste the charredness off the meat. That is so good. Seems like everybody's just starting to go extreme with the uh, veggie. More vegans are evolving and becoming more, uh, we're becoming more aware of it in the world. <clears throat> I myself like to eat a little bit of everything, especially seafood and vegetables. <clears throat> Last night I made some shrimp tacos with uh, mango salsa. It's freaking amazing. Super amazing. But yeah, guys, I just really wanted to share with you um, the Impossible Burger. I'm sure you all have had it before. Let me, uh, like I said, leave me some comments and uh let me know of any new items in other fast food restaurants that i should try that you highly recommend surely gonna have to try that popeyes um, sandwich as well everybody's showing too much love i don't like to go in when everybody's in there doing it i kind of like to go after the scene um just to have a better ambiance and have a better uh a better sandwich let's say because when they're making all those sandwiches in so much time it's not going to be uh, made with so much effort it's just more going to be a machine and you know robots making it so uh, i'm going to go in there whenever it calms down and for sure it hasn't calmed down it's been a month now i can't imagine in and out burger that one's going to be extreme as well but uh one more bite for uh good luck and for good love to you all y'all have a blessed day fat pretty guy is here always around showing much love on my videos make sure you check out my videos i have plenty of love out there and i'm still evolving myself trying to make things better for myself and as far as health i am uh, taking care of my body going to the gym all the time so uh, don't forget about that do consider going to the gym if you're going to be doing all these um, challenges and stuff like that it is a lot of fun on youtube and stuff like that but in the long run it's going to kill you and you're going to regret it so um, do things right from fat foodie guy here at katie mills mall the impossible burger was a slam as i said i've had it before this is my second time and it is just so succulent that i'm gonna have to leave the camera because it's like having sex with food <laughs> but y'all have a great uh, day god bless you